I guess mine is more like a speech of sorts, uh, but it's also a rant as well. Um, I'd like to start by thanking Creative Time and Democracy for America for giving me the opportunity to speak tonight here at the Park Avenue Armory in New York City. Nothing is new, but everything is changed. The millennium is upon us, and the world has crossed into the threshold of a new era, or so we think. In a manner of speaking, I just want to say it's beyond words. The art that we see today contains a spark of greatness and failure, that failure all filled with the hopes and fears of future movements and past mistakes. Tonight we capture time and in seconds broadcast it to anyone who will listen. The place that was now is then, and I guess you could say that it never really went away, always reconciling the past, always ancient to the future. The anonymous millions consume this and then shit it back out to one billion more that talk about how it changed their life and then freaked out after they realized it meant everything to someone else. I would like to find a way to tell you everything I say is nothing, but I don't think I can do that in five minutes. Nothing is what it seems. The drift is very real and super modern, and it's hotter than normal in New York City and other places, and I'm not talking about the weather. It's been a tough year so far for so many. As an artist, I found it an exciting challenge to attempt to capture these moments, all while navigating the psychogeographical liberation and isolation brought about through these new global, cultural, and technological advancements over the past decade. The great theorist Guy Debord once said, the construction of situations begin on the ruins of the modern spectacle. And I feel it's too bad that Guy Debord wasn't able to be here to experience and see the real change that he helped spark. The post-millennial manifestos built on historical radical changes in art and philosophy now add new energy to, to encourage creative culture to break free of the binds of postmodernism and the unfortunate residual effects of the Cold War and previous history. While simple identity politics are pushed aside, even more complex juxtapositions, a hybrid culture, cult, a hybrid creative revolution is taking place by artists utilizing technology to their advantage to analyze the world and distribute their message. The deconstruction of the past 40 to 50 years has led to the destabilization we all asked for. The new map allows us to drift from place to place, consuming information and influencing practice in attempts to find real meaning through psychogeographical means. We wander through great cities without walls, nations without borders, one multidimensional world searching for truth buried in centuries of lies and misconceptions. That great post-communist and neo-capitalist experiment has brought about the change that everyone has been waiting for. All the while, our glaciers melt into the sea and war still rages on and people die and politicians act like they care as they scramble for votes and the corporations try to steal the last piece of my bread. All the while, another UFO is witnessed by thousands and Jesus Christ was just found in the shape of a Cheeto, according to NBC. As Chester Cheetah once said, it ain't easy being cheetah, it ain't easy being cheesy, so just eat it. It's not real anyways. And the great dis global dis diaspora that we are all part of is simultaneously miraculous and worrisome as the changing tides of knowledge take us to places never before realized. A period of major transition is upon us, and I firmly believe the supermodern era has arrived. Like it or not, the signposts have been planted. Have we fully entered the age of information or Aquarius or whatever you want to call it? Virtual places and psychic visions now enable many of us to engage globally and locally with millions. For a price, the whole world can be in our hands and the story we are writing is both fact and fiction and blurry and sometimes dim. And could it be possible that we, us humans, may just be too smart for our own good. And I'd like to wrap it up with, in the words of China Tracy, AKA Xiao Fei, 
There are no nationalities or borders here. We are all world citizens in a future world where everyone lives his or her second life and creates his or her own values. Thank you very much.